Yeah, thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. Dropping. Bringing. Getting it in. So today's topic, real quick, this is about the role of non-black groups in perpetrating a white supremacist terrorist ethnostate. Because whether it's talked about or not, these non-black groups have a silent hand in propping it up. Now I've talked about and we've heard spoken about on many platforms that the reason why we see this lawlessness and ruthlessness toward black people is to put all the non-blacks in check so non-blacks can quietly go with their head down, move with their head down, quietly support white supremacist terrorism because they don't want no war, they don't want no smoke, they just want to get a couple of pesos, they just want to get a couple of reals, they just want to get a couple coins to send back to their family. So our abuse and us being abused doesn't register to these nomads, as I call these groups, I call them the nomad groups. They got one foot in the States and one foot on an airplane and a shaking with a plane ticket in their hand. 24-7, they got that plane ticket in their back pocket so they can run because they scared for real. Black people, we know we face the system of we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. We're damned if we talk white, we're damned if we don't talk white. We're damned if we dress white, we're damned if we don't dress white. We get shot if we talk white, we get shot if we don't talk white. We get shot if we go to school, we get shot if we don't go to school. We get shot if we slang dope, we get shot if we don't slang dope. We get shot if we have a gun, we get shot if we don't have a gun. You know what I'm saying? This is the world we in, and as we raising all various levels of dissension against this type of system, these other groups, these non-black groups, that exists within this white supremacist terrorist regime that we dealing with and that we looking at they pretty much assume the role of a coward motherfucker let's just say that first they're gonna go with whatever wind blow with whatever the dominant society says is the way to go and they hoping and praying and praying and hoping that white ethno state orchestrating white supremacist regime don't flip on them and crash out on they shit. But that's exactly what's gonna happen. We all know that. They're gonna want drama out of you too. They're gonna want some sort of beef with you too because they can't just be peaceful with people. We've seen that, we know this. So as these nomad groups are hiding, don't want no tests, don't want no plex with your workaday white supremacist terrorists, your gang member white supremacist terrorists, they coming at y'all like, hey, Y'all gotta put in some work on this anti-black shit. You know what I mean? They deboing y'all like, what y'all got on my black oppression? What you got on my kick black people while they down while I'm running this damned if you do, damned if you don't anti-black police force out here? Motherfucker be like, I kick black in ass? Black dick kick in ass? Yes, yes, I kick up black in ass? I tell black what you tell me to tell black? Tell black to pick up self by bootstrap. I tell two black. Yes, yes, I tell two black. <laughs> they got a lot of the non-black shook. This is who they are. This is what they heart about. Damn our history with them. Damn the fact that we helped build their genetic line. Damn that we helped build their countries. Damn the Twa. Damn the Olmec. Damn the Nagas. Damn all of it they don't even teach us as being a part of their histories no more they start their history books from when white people came and civilized their people (laughs) when white people started doing trading with their people (laughs) i mean they do shit like that i mean they teach this shit to their children they might know a little bit of their history but they should be whitewashed like a motherfucker this is who they are to us and we should look at them like that they ain't one in the family they not none of that shit they're enemies to us because you see who your enemies are when somebody come up upon you that's an enemy to you and start pressing them and what do these groups do they start tail tucking they start chucked in while we on some 
Professor Griff shit. They start Jay Z while we on some Damon Dash shit. They start Monique while we on some Dick Gregory shit. Our ancestor Dick Gregory. They start. <laughs> they start Cynthia Jean while we on some Ashley W shit. Right? So. To me, they've shown their coward hand in this system of black people are damned if they do, damned if they don't. They feel team white supremacy is good cover while all that's happening to the Negroes. Look at Julie Chen kissing ass of an abuser ass husband because he's white while he's just assaulting women all across the globe. But Camille Cosby's so bad for staying with Bill. She's such a bad person, right? Get out of here. Look at all the Latinos. Look at all the Geraldos of the world. He was on Fox Friends, um, damn, just yesterday. Talking about he support the damn building of the wall, you all. So all you Latinos, y'all's a Latino pride. But y'all got people that's out there saying, fuck Latinos, right? That's Latino, so oh, we want to watch. You know, black people, we put our people on the psychiatrist's couch in front of the whole world. We put all our issues out in front of the world and we dealt with it in front of the world and we have drawn clear lines for our coons. I want to see what y'all going to do with y'all Geraldos. What kind of X y'all going to put on his back? Y'all going to be a coward towards him too. People like him that's saying, fuck my people. <laughs> coward shit. So the pressure has obviously got to Geraldo. You know what I'm saying? But the undercurrent with Latinos, Indians, Asians, we know is that they serious about this ethno state shit when it comes to anybody who ain't white. So these groups try to ignore that they mean they ass too. They talking about your ass too, which is just the funniest thing in the world to me, personally. So we can watch black people. Let's watch these groups as they be marrying white, talking white, dressing white, Kissing white ass, yo, Cuban, Dominican, Mexican, Malaysian, Pakistani, Iranian ass. They want you. They want you out of here. They want to be all white, and that's it. While all y'all sitting up, shaving all the hair off your bodies, trying to look white, trying to play, kick black people while we're down because you think there's safety in that from an aggressive enemy of the entire universe. But while y'all are on team, black people, if you just do right, do good and be good, do what they say, yeah, bitch, we're not listening to y'all or no nobody. We don't listen to nobody but us. Black people already know there is no law in America. We've experienced it. It's just whatever white people want to say at whatever point in time. The non-black races catch up to speed. Uh, you're hopefully you're not thrown in a cage before then. You know what I mean? Hopefully your kids ain't in cages before then. <laughs> or fucking concentration camp. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they ramped it up. They said, well, fuck, man. Okay, so black folk, they ain't, they ain't up to just blasting us in our heads on the street just yet. We kind of basically running wild on black people and we feeding our perpetrators and the cops and all those people who are involved into the white supremacist vacuum with the DAs, the judges, the juries, that kind of whole show. We just running through the whole show over and over again. But uh, it's kind of bored. Well, let me go over here to the Latinos and let's see what the fuck they gonna do if we throw their kids in cages, jostle them around, fuck what they like, fuck up they like, take their comfort shit away. Let's see if they blow our brains out. <laughs> You know what I mean, the dominant society is in reproductive desperation globally. So their thing is, well, if we have to die, then we want to see what we can touch off with whoever. What group can we smack around and get them to start fighting us? Let's see if they blow our brains out so we can pull out our guns and start to kill these guns that we've been shining up and we go out to shoot. We want to shoot people now because we all know that they have a psychosexual relationship with guns and killing. And there's plenty of scholars that will speak about that when it comes to the Neanderthal rhesus monkey Caucasian. All right? So we already know who we're dealing with. This is some destructive shit they've been on. Kissing ass ain't going to make the blow any lighter. When they come around to ask you 
what you got on his 40, what you got on my oppression. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what this system does to you non-black groups. What y'all got on my oppression on, on black people? What you got on my ethno state? You know what I mean? D-boying y'all bitch asses. These nomad groups, these coons, all of y'all, y'all are known as the sucker group. That's why when y'all come around, the boys are like, oh, shit, them suckers. They've been kissing ass for so long, they don't even know what's about to happen. They don't even, and when they get hit over the head with some real shit, they gonna scatter like some roaches. They gonna be the, the most unprepared. Cause they got all their guns locked and loaded, aiming at what your worker day white supremacist terrorists tell them to aim at, what white supremacist society tell them to aim at, what ethno state injustice land tell them to aim at. Not knowing that motherfucker gonna smack you upside the back of your head and take that gun and beat you with it. The same motherfuckers that you blasting for, they finna slap you across the head and beat you with it and shoot you with it. That's for you Indians, Latinos, Asians, Arabs, that's for y'all. Cause I know y'all don't see it coming. I know y'all don't, I know y'all not prepared. I can feel it. I can feel that y'all don't know that the motherfucker will flip on your stupid ass out here. I can feel it. So that's why I'm like, yeah. Ah, kind of sit back a little bit and watch this shit and be entertained by that shit as I'm still loading up my Glock, as I'm still using my left hand to load my shells. You understand? As I'm still on mine. Like what? Saying, and, hey, good luck to you motherfuckers. Cause y'all a target out here. Hope y'all know y'all are a target of these ethno state minded K flag toting KKK motherfuckers too. They don't like your ass. You can walk with your head down and you can yes I saw Julie Chin all you want. But what? What's gonna come out of that? But the grip gonna be tighter on your motherfucking throat. Until they through putting the target on your back. And they through with you and they're moving on to the next non-black group that they wanna hate on. I'ma keep saying Julie Chin, cause look at her. Now she caught. Her hand has been forced to show who she really is in her relationship with this Les Moonbez, the molester guy. Right? Just an example. Her hand has been forced to be shown. Bitch, show me what side you on, bitch. You on the side of the white dude with the money who's abusing all these young girls in the street. Assaulting all these girls in the street. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's right. That's a good Chinese bitch. That's what he's saying to her as he's patting her on her head at home. Y'all look at this shit. Y'all look at it. Y'all look at what trick bag white mommy and daddy put y'all in for the sake of y'all obeying everything that they say do, good or bad. Forcing y'all to carry on with no conscience. See, black people, we realize it, but these other groups, these non-black groups, these nomads, they don't realize that this ethno-state based white supremacy that we trying to stomp out is indiscriminate with who it will harm. They want to push this ethno-state shit and Indians, Asians, Latinos, so forth and so on, they got their guards down, all the way down. They think smiling and laughing, just like the coons on our side, like we've been watching them for years, like they dumbasses think the smiling and the laughing and the playing and the giggling, they think that's going to help. <laughs> Y'all... I guess this is y'all's y'all time to see if that shit don't work. We already know it don't work. We already on the plan P Q R S T U V W on some new shit. But y'all, y'all ain't even got to plan A yet. Y'all plan A has been to kiss ass and be quiet. Being quiet ain't gonna keep you comfortable. Being quiet gonna get comfort kicked right from underneath your asshole as you sitting up on it and thinking it's a comfortable place to be. So hey, good luck, motherfucker. Like I said, good luck. <laughs> Huh. Sucker motherfucker shit, right? Have at it, have at it. Do y'all little sucker shit. Do y'all little bitch shit. <laughs> anyway, that's been my quick announcement. I'm gonna get it y'all right fast. Do something a little different today. I'm gonna keep spitting. Keep doing mine. Get it y'all.